All right. Uh, the intro will play with our little da 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 that we have. Welcome back to another episode of Oil Free Chat. Uh, I'm Joy Troxel and with Nini. Nini girl. Uh, another episode of Oil Free Chat. Yay! All right, so it's the summer, right? And I always think that you have a lot going on, but really it's me, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's always me. Uh, I do have a lot going on. Uh, so we're carving out a little bit of time here, right? Um, you Between know, Between trips. Yes, I have a lot going on. I'm going to be traveling in Atlanta and then New York. You know, as our kids are getting older, it kind of makes me think like uh, when I was raising Lex originally, right? He knew I was a vegetarian. Uh, and then at some point he was, he really liked shrimp, right? And at mm -hmm. some point we were at a restaurant. He goes, I'm not, I don't want any shrimp. And I'm like, well, that's your favorite. He goes, I just don't want it anymore. And I'm like, okay. And I didn't push it. And he eventually became what I would say is probably a vegetarian uh, because he will eat cheese pizza with his friends, but that's it. At home, uh, if we buy anything, like we buy sometimes buy these little uh, pre-made or you have to make your own like little Lunchables, but it's a bread, a sauce, and a cheese. Mm -hmm. And he likes that, but he makes me put the Costco shredded vegan cheese on it. Okay. Um, he doesn't want the cheese. So I look back as we're raising our kids and I think I never forced on them mm -hmm. to make these decisions. We just kind of, I just kind of set the example. Here's what I'm doing. Right? That's you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you make your choice. Yeah. And at this point, Lex, you know, as we know, our kids are getting older and they're getting ready to embark on their own. And I have someone at least who's probably 90% vegan and the other half percent is pizza with his friends. He won't order cheese. I won't order like meat pizzas, but he will eat cheese pizza. So I'm pretty happy with how he's progressed. Are your kids kind of, did they kind of follow the same path? Well, you planted the seed. Right, it's exactly what we did. Mind, so he knows that what the healthy way is, right. and he can, you know, play both sides, kind of the healthy and the do a little dabbling here and there. Well, I yeah. feel like our our kids growing up with vegetarian or vegan parents get more of an education on how to know what's really healthy. Yes, with our kids, it was a little different. We were like, this is the way it is in our house, and that's the way it's going to be. But it. It hasn't been a battle with my son. He's been, he was born a vegan. He never liked eating meat or cheese or any of that. So it was easy with him. But it's kind of been a, not a battle, but just a little debate with my daughter. And so we just say, look, that's the way it is in our home. Yeah. When you get your home and you go off into your life, you can do and buy whatever you want with your money and support what companies you want to support so and i think that's the key to it right there and i, I love that she asks questions like she's questioning yeah. everything because i teach my students question everything right do the research yourself mm -hmm. because then it stops you from believing you know milk does a body good and all that get out there and look yeah. for it right um and always consider where the research is coming from. where's the money behind the research right so i tell them to question everything uh, yeah so i think they do get a better uh education food wise yes. growing up someplace where we're not all just eating hyper processed if nothing else even if, if my son eventually doesn't wind up staying vegetarian or vegan he understands process he exactly. understands processed food exactly. right they know um so you know i I, I kind of have to applaud us, right? Because our kids are about to leave the nest. Yeah. I kind of have to applaud us for getting them the knowledge early for that, right? Yeah. Uh, otherwise, because I didn't have that, and I don't know how I got through my 20s and 30s and 40s without having some heart disease or something. I know. It's so interesting because their friends are now teenagers, 16, 17 years old, and a lot of their parents are getting sick. Yeah. So... You know, and a lot of these kids ask my kids because they see my husband doing all these athletic stuff. Yeah. He's 51. And they're like, how does your dad do it? How does he have the energy to yeah. do all that? And they just shrug their shoulders and say, well, I guess that's what he eats. And, and we hope our goal is for our kids not to be on pills when they're 30 no. and 40 and not to live like that, right? No. Because we don't live like that. It's going to be interesting to see how they, how our kids are going to navigate college with their yeah. friends all being like meat and potatoes eaters, right? Yeah. I think 
they're gonna have to take a stand and be like That's when they're the questioned thing, yeah. and i don't even know if those kids will question them in, in our days they did but nowadays it's so much more like understood right yeah. like many of my students are vegan or vegetarian and right? like on the college campus that our son is going to they have in every single restaurant several vegan options. yeah yeah so there's a plethora of options where they're not eating just the little salad plain salad and that also tells me if there's options they're not the only ones doing it no, right that not. means yeah. there's enough people eating that way mm -hmm. where it's not going to seem odd where it might have you know when we went to school or whatever so um uh so i feel like uh it, we've worked really hard to get to this point to to get our kids out of the nest and hopefully they go yeah. <laughs> right? oh no they're going <laughs> they're going they're going I don't know about Lexa. <laughs> yeah. My son's leaving in August. He's going. We're very happy. We're excited for him. I'm going to miss him terribly. Yeah. But I'm just so happy that that's one less mouth I have to feed. Yeah. I can start, instead of doing two things of pasta, I can go back to the <laughs> You know, it's going to be less, less, which I'm looking forward to. It's been a lot of work feeding it, growing teenagers. I, it's a lot of work. I know. All they, your parents out there. They need two of everything. It's so bizarre, right? You can't just make, you make, or you make a beautiful meal and you give it to them. And you're like, oh, and you sit down and within like four minutes, it's they're gone. like, they're like, can I have another one? And you're it's like, gone. I just spent like 30 minutes making that one. Why didn't you tell me you were going to need two? Yeah. And then you're doing it again. Uh, it, it does seem like you're working for someone, right? Yeah. 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 And they do eat a lot. So yeah. like, two large pizzas my son <laughs> and he's like a stick thing oh my god he, he's so in shape there's it's no crazy. cheese it's just mushroom what does he put he puts mushrooms garlic and green olives that's all he puts on it yeah so two of the large and then sometimes extra large and then like four burgers we've yeah. got the bean burgers yeah mountains of potatoes i mean it's just where does it go? Where I don't know. I, I, their their metabolisms are so amazing. Uh, I went a lot of times this year. There were pizza from Costco, right, to celebrate stuff uh, for for skills you say at, at work and all that with the kids. And the kids knew me. They'd come up and go, "Listen, I've had two pizzas. I know you're going to grab a slice and you're going to take the cheese off. Can you just put it on my oh. slice?" I'm like, "Okay." So they, we'd rip the cheese off and throw it on their slice, so I can have a slice of pizza, right? Uh, and they and then they know this ahead of time, right? So I'm like the free extra slice of cheese, right? Yeah. The extra cheese. Who's gonna get to yeah, first? Yeah, they come and they'll take turns. Although they'll argue at who's getting my cheese, right? We'll have another slice so I can get your cheese, right? I'm like, oh my gosh, I think that this year, as I you know just have being done working for the year, there were people at work where there's a, a few people who obviously need to make a change in what they're doing, right? Yes. When I look at them. And I feel like when I talk to them, it looks like they're trying, right? They're bringing mm -hmm. like lean cuisines yeah. and that sort of stuff that people who don't really Sweet know any sure. better. Right, right. And they bring a little meal this big and here, right, here's what I'm having. I'm like, where's the rest of your food? What are you, like, what? Where are you going to starve to death, right? Are you going to go through the day yeah, on right. that little thing? And what's going to happen is they're going to eat that and 20 minutes later they're going to be starving and they're going to be eating junk, or right? Or vending machines. Right, right, exactly. But there are people who are, they're making an attempt yeah. and they don't That's know, right? right? And I've, over the course of this year, I've had those people come up to me and go, like, I'll bring something in and they're like, I'm going to need a recipe for that, right? Like my three bean chili or my miserwat, the eat the open lentils, mm -hmm. right? I those watch it. Noodles oh, the noodles? The jar? Yeah, all the, the noodles jar. Yeah, I brought that. my favorite. They were always, people are always like, what are you bringing today? Like, I want to see. Yeah. But it made people ask questions and it got them to think, I actually, I could eat that, mm -hmm. right? So if nothing else this year, I believe I was successful in at least getting the people around me to look at food differently. That's where you changed. So you crossed over from trying to convince people, right? which is we all go through that phase. Yeah. We discover this diet. You're like trying to tell the world. Right, right. And everybody's like, yeah. go away. <laughs> and then you're like, I'm done. And then you decided <laughs> I'm going to be the example. Yes. And I'm going to wait for them to ask me. Yeah. That's yeah. the best way to do it. That you have to set a good example. It's the yeah. only way to change people because otherwise you'll sit there and argue and argue and argue and they're so brainwashed. I mean, with, yeah. with their counterpoints and all that. and no, uh, good for you. Right. What? Uh, oh, you know. What do you mean oil's not good for you? Yeah. Oh, beef has iron. Yeah, but it's got heme iron. It's not the same. Like, there's no winning an argument with them, right? Because they have this endless supply of propaganda they've been fed. And that's where where I just stand back and before I used to like wake up. What are you doing? <laughs> hey. 
you can only do so much. Yeah. Yeah, you can only do so much. Uh, I feel like uh, we just have to keep planting the seeds when it's if they're not going to listen, someone else is, right? Yeah. Um, my students the same thing. Like they all know that I'm a vegan, and throughout the year, some of them vegetarians. They'll ask me things. Well, well, what about this? Well, what about mm -hmm. that? And they're not challenging me. Like this one girl, she's a vegetarian in my class, right? And every day she's asking me questions about my food. And finally, one of the kids says to her, why do you keep asking him questions, yeah. right? And she goes, because I'm not allowed to ask at home. Oh. And I was like, oh my God. Like, I would have answered forever, but I was like, That's oh my God. I know, right? Wow. So, of course, I felt even better. Like, you, of course, can ask me whatever you want, right? Yeah. And, and I feel like that uh just being available to people like that and i have to remember mm. like when she's questioning me she's not arguing with me no. this is how they they converse and they're yeah. asking and she's processing i think also because i'm a homeschool mom and you're a teacher yeah so we're like like i had to become a teacher yeah we're both teachers you really did it by yeah. toys yeah um and so you're kind of used to just speaking very clearly and being willing to explain things because you con they're constantly asking. Yes. Where I think regular parents, I didn't think of that, just see that as annoying. Well, and it's very possible that the parent doesn't know these answers, so they're shutting it down, right? Yeah. And we've been taught, never say, well, because I said so, yeah. right? That cuts off the learning right there, right? They're no longer able to reach for something else and to understand you've stopped it. So we, I don't ever say that, but at home, like, you know, as a parent, because I said so, that's why do I have to do this, right? Because I said so, right? Well, I usually say because <laughs> this is my house. Because <laughs> I'm paying the bills. bills. You don't like it? There's a the door. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh... <laughs> yeah, and you know it, it, yeah, yeah, it did work at my house that way, right? Um, so, yeah, and I worry that Lex isn't going to leave because, you know what I mean? Uh, no, but, I told them you have to. <laughs> you leave. gotta go. It's I have, time. I have plans. <laughs> I have things I want to do. <laughs> I want to move on with my life. Uh, mm -hmm. So I feel like are are we influencing people around us? I feel like we are, right? Yeah. And uh, you know, you just you never know where that influence is is going. Like who's listening, right? You just have to kind of be out there uh, and and make yourself available. I do have people who contact me privately and they mm -hmm. ask me all kinds of stuff. You had this happen too, where you put recipes out and people contact you and go, listen, oh. I love all this, but I'm not making this. Can you cook for me? Like have, you've oh, had this happen, God. right? And I'm just like, no, no, I can't cook for you. Like I don't even want to cook myself, yeah, okay. no. right? No, I'll pay you. Whatever. No, it's not worth it. Like don't ask me to cook for you. Yeah, we right? don't like plateau. We, like, we do, downs. but I feel like people sometimes <laughs> are into it and I understand I want to do this, but I really don't want to spend the energy. And but there's the short attention span now. It's yeah. Like, I want it, I want it now syndrome. That's what I tell my kids. Yeah. And you have to work for it, you know, and when you work for it, then you earn it and you appreciate it. So that's true with everything. If yeah. you don't work for this, if you don't, if you don't put the energy into this, it's not coming to you. No, and it's no. going to be something like a fun, like, oh, pfft. yeah. You have to invest time and energy into it for it to really work for you. You know, it's interesting because in my family, my extended family, we have people on keto. We, Tim and I, would go to the homes and it was time to make meals and we'd be heaving, eating up a potato and all that <laughs> and they would heat up something from, I don't know. And I'd say, hey, do you want to eat potatoes? Oh, no, I can't eat carbs. I can't eat carbs. That's I can't eat carbs, right? Can't eat carbs. And I would just be like, why can't you eat carbs? That's the, And I know they're on keto, but I would still question them. Why can't you eat carbs? It's the food of our cells. Like, for carbohydrates. It makes right? me fat. It makes me fat. Well, now, more and more doctors are now realizing that keto diet, that's making people sick. Right, and we we knew that we knew we've that. known it the whole Not time, year. right? And we've been saying it. No, but paleo, paleo. But, really, yeah. but I literally, my, my family would tell me, the way you eat is confusing. I don't it's understand so it. It's right? so much work. Right, eating potatoes can be very confusing, yeah. people. Right now, now they've been told by their oh. doctor, right? Listen, maybe that keto not such a good maybe idea. You shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, you've got like arteriosclerosis, you've got all this stuff, like maybe not such a good idea. Yeah. So now they're all in this conundrum, like, uh, now what do I do? And I'm like, yeah. well, we've got oh, 250 videos, videos that exactly. you can watch on how to cook starches with no oils. And it's interesting because they're like, we have to make a change, we have to make a change. And then there's postings on social media of them at a steakhouse or whatever. 
And I Starting think, my day on Monday. Right, yeah, right, right. Next Monday, right? It's Tuesday, right? We've all done that. <laughs> right. So I don't know if they're going to change or not. Or if, it's got, they got to reach rock bottom. It's like an alcoholic because the food is so addictive now. You know, it's so addictive. And you just have to be patient and kind and loving and just... <laughs> That's all you can do. Let them come to you when they're ready. And I think that, uh, like, Lex likes these Impossible Burgers, right? Mm -hmm. I've been making him that school's out. I've been making him, I don't, you, you don't have the Plant You cookbook by Carly Bojo, do you? No. It's all oil-free, whole food, plant-based cooking, right? And in there is a Bliss Burger. It's a burger made out of beans and uh, oats and all that. So I, and Lex will get three burgers, not because he eats them all at once, but he knows I'm not always there. So he has them in the refrigerator ready to go. Mm -hmm. And he'll do this when he gets Impossible Burgers. So I've been making these Bliss Burgers all out of beans. And I, and he absolutely loves them. Loves them. Uh, loves them, right? So I've been kind of making those and keeping them in the fridge so they're ready to go. And I feel like it's a much it, I mean, there's no oil. There's it's none of the fat. Choice. Yeah, it's a much better choice. Even with his hamburger bun, that might have a little bit of oil in it. Because I have sourdough bread for me, but he'll have hamburger. Even with that and a slice of little vegan cheese on it, it's a much better choice. So yeah. much better. And, and he's happy. And he and he's grown up on beans, right? Like he knows beans. So. Uh, but he's always been a bean boy. Yeah. Well, because I've always made beans, yeah. right? Like, uh, so he. So you had it in your house, oh, readily yeah. available. So yeah. that's what he knew. Well, and I think like if he looks at, you know, he knows like he's getting a lot of fiber, and probably most of the other kids in his class and his grade are not. Like they're not getting fiber, no, right? It's very and sad. so, at, at a minimum, our kids are gonna, you know, poop well for the rest of their lives, and hopefully, never have intestinal issues. I pooped today. Uh, <laughs> me too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I pooped today. Um, so, I guess this whole episode has been kind of about Those our, kids, in, our, our they, kids. what are how are our kids gonna be in the world? Are they gonna yeah. go out there and carry on? You know, like the Amish kids, right? Yeah, the Amish, 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 and then there's that period where they they let them go and do what they want, and then almost all of them yeah. return back to the Amish, right? They come back. I feel like that's what we've done, right? We've kind of set it all up, and now they're gonna be on their own here. Where will they go? Well, they know the, the options. Yeah, you know, and. I don't buy the vegan junk food, period. Yeah. Now, once or twice I have gotten, uh, what did we get recently? Oh, I got these uh, pepperoni, the fake pepperoni. Yeah, yeah. Because my daughter wanted it on her pizza, her vegan pizza. So I got that. Like, that was the extent yeah. of my junk food. So uh, maybe when the, when she goes off to college, she'll be more adventurous and tasting all the other, like the faux meats and yeah. all that but at least it's vegan and it's not hurting hurting a yeah. creature i you know i i'm just gonna rest assured that we gave them options and i tell you i did make them watch earthlings i i could watch it i made them watch i could watch the first 10 minutes i, I got seven minutes and it was over I yeah i did it. 10 minutes but i made them watch earthlings and this is of course maybe i did this in January of this year, wow. they have to be like mature enough to deal with it. And I made them watch the whole thing. I, I couldn't tell you what happened after the seven minutes. I shut it off. I never went back. They had to watch yeah. it. Well, I just felt like I was the wrong audience for it. I was what already not eating. Right. But for me, it was like when you get older, yeah. the choices you make to where you spend your hard earned money right. affects other beings on this planet. So you have to take that into consideration. You support companies with your money is absolutely exactly. the truth, right? Um, all right, awesome. Well, I think uh, we'll cut it here for today. Uh, an amazing chat uh, yes, about always. about are we getting anywhere influencing anyone yeah. with our vegan or with our plant-based option. And the people around us seem to be responding. It may seem like sometimes like it's hopeless, like you can't change people's minds, but like we've, we've been saying, don't argue with them, just set the example, right? Yeah. That's it. All right. Hit the like button. Show us some love. Just click on the bell. Subscribe. And you'll get notified every time we have a new video. Usually every Tuesday. And leave a comment below. Are you happy to see Nini girl? <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye.